When I was a kid, games was hardcore. You had a certain number of lives, and if you collected enough points, maybe you were lucky enough to get a new extra continue. The games were often shorter, but the challenge was turned up to the max. We got beaten, and sometimes you thought, this is impossible to beat. Often, we didn't know how the last word looked like, who was the evil boss, and how was the last cutscene. There are many mysteries and unanswered questions about the ending of a game. And often, even your friends didn't know about it either, since no one had experienced it. It became almost like a myth among friends. Rumors got spread how the final level looked like. Some even said that you could cheat to victory against the final boss, which they have heard from our older brother's friend who had a father that had heard about it. We talked in the schoolyard, told each other tips and tricks and how to get over the big hole with the small platforms, or how to find the strongest sword in the game that was hidden in a secret place. It was amazing. I really do think we were more patient back in the old days with our games. If you couldn't defeat the final boss or find the, the, the secret key to a chest you knew that was special, you had to ask your friends in the schoolyard, or maybe you should call your best friend and tell him, hey, can you come over for the whole weekend and we can just play this game and try to defeat the crazy final boss? And something like that. Or you can wait for the Nintendo Power magazine to come to, uh, to arrive to your mailbox. Something like that. It was special and it was magical. Nowadays, if you can't defeat the boss or uh, a clear level, you just look up on the internet, use YouTube, you can search for a rock through. I do it by myself. And I think it's sad sometimes because there is something with the magic that disappear. And I hear many people say that I hate when I have to look up on the internet to find some things and I understand that. But then I say to them, but why are you using a walkthrough? Why are you using the internet to find a certain item? Because they, and then sometimes they say, they, they can say, maybe the, the game is too hard. I don't want to grind to defeat the, the final boss or I don't want to explore the whole world to find that specific key but I'm like yeah well then the magic disappear I understand why you don't want to look up the internet but then don't do it and then the answer is but I don't want to use all that time to find the certain things I have so many games I have a big backlog okay in my opinion you just play the game to come through them you don't <clears throat> you don't play the game to feel the experience, the 100% experience the game wants you to feel. I do it by myself sometimes, where I look up on the internet to find a certain item I can't find. But I must say, I miss the old days when I couldn't do that. When I have to call my best friend and say, hey, can you come over? Let's find that item to defeat that boss or something like that. Or meet up in the schoolyard and talk with the people. Or look through the power Nintendo Power magazine and say, see if any others is stuck at that place. And you can compare the magazines with the internet in some way, but still there are something crazy when you looked up and there are other people that are stuck at the same place. And it's like, sometimes you didn't have the internet to, to talk about the games in the same way, when you read a magazine and read about all the other people who are stuck at the same place, you feel like you are part of a community. Or if you went over to the schoolyard and people were talking about that level, it was like everyone is playing this game right now. The way people are getting entertained at the moment is like the quick fix. And if you play a game and you have to sit down with the game for many months, people will move on and maybe they get stuck on a difficult enemy they just want to move on because they have a backlog of so many games. They have the game pass, they could just boot it up and play another game. When we were kid, <laughs> we were stuck with that one game. And sometimes you hated it and just want to play another game, but you keep on playing it. And in the end, you find the love for the game. And maybe I'm just a nostalgia man that loved the past. If you had the Nintendo magazine or Nintendo Power, many secrets were revealed in the magazines. There you could read about how to defeat the impossible boss or get help with tips and tricks that were revealed. You read about other gamers in the mailbox who had the same problems finding a specific item. You got an overview over the world that was illustrated or a quick way out of a confusing labyrinth. 
I never quite knew what kind of game I got as a child. I picked games from the cover that I thought was awesome and hoped the game was good. Maybe it was or maybe it was bad. I didn't know. No matter what, I learned to love it over time. I have a feeling that many of us had a bad game as a child that we learned to love. You play it. It was your game, your journey, your adventure, your challenge. And when one day you succeed, no matter if the game was good or bad, you felt like a king when you succeed. Because you try to play the game all the time. Nowadays, if the game doesn't click, you just move on to the next game. Because the opportunities is endless almost. Yeah, you can say that is a good thing. But in some way, it was like magic when you only had the one game for the whole rest of the year. And you was just trying to play it and play it and play it, even though maybe you didn't like it. But someday when you defeated it, maybe there was a little happy memory connected to the game. You want its 16 bit and it's yours only if you get new Super Nintendo. Now you're playing with power, superpower. I'm impressed that kids played your original Super Mario Bros. back in the days. It's a difficult game, and I love that even if you got beaten and throw your controller in frustration, you are ready again the next day or later that evening to try it again. The level of difficulty was high and challenging. Maybe I'm just an old angry man sometime, but I think that the difficulty in games have been, have been in a difficulty time at the moment. It's like games try to please everyone. They try to please every gamer. And I hate that. I hate it. And some may think, but why do we hate it? It's great that everyone can play the game. But I'm like, if you don't want to get good at the game, or if you don't want to grind, play another game. Every game don't have to be for everyone. I understand why we have hard, normal and easy in our games. I, I think it's great to have a difficulty mode, but I don't like when it tops that level. When you get ultra hard, very hard, hard, normal, easy, very easy, ultra easy and play for the storytelling. Because I see that setting in the newer games. When I was playing Shin Megami Tensei 5, one of the best games back in 2021 or 2022, I think it was. It was my game of the year uh, at the time. I love Shin Megami Tensei 5. It was a great game. It had a difficult challenge and you have the setting to choose between hard, normal and easy. And I love that part. I love the, that kind, I love that with the game because it's a crazy hardcore game. And then people are telling me if you love Shin Megami Tensei, you try the Persona games. And I have the bought the Persona 5 Royal and I've heard from many people that's one of the best games ever made. So I tried to play it, and at the beginning, when your main character got captured, you have to choose the difficulty for the game. And when I saw the many opportunities, I got, do I really want to put over 100 hours, 100 hours in this game? It's not that it don't appreciate my time, but I think that it don't appreciate me as a gamer in some way. It's like we want to please everyone because the choice you have was like hard, normal, easy, very easy, and just for the storytelling. And I'm like, if you if you want just to see the game for the story, get good, play the game, and if you got defeated, try again, grind some more, get the better web weapon. Otherwise, the game is not for you, in my opinion. But they have to include everyone, and I hate that. Sorry to say, I hate that. I really do. Because they want everyone to be on board. But a hardcore gamer like me in JRPG, I feel like, wow, everyone can just clear this game. Everyone can see through the end. And back in the days when I was a kid, if you couldn't clear the game, bad luck. Well, bad luck. You have to think about the ending or get good. Maybe I'm just an angry old man, but I hate that you have so many difficulty settings. In our games and maybe I'm the weird one but I love that when a game is like if you have to see through the end you have to complete me maybe the challenge won't be easy but that's okay but you have to get good maybe you have to call a friend maybe you have to 
talk with other people. Maybe you have to try again and again, or maybe you have to put me away and play me again for the next year. Because when you have a game that challenges you and wants you to explore the world, you are building up some memories with the game. And after 10 years, maybe you have nostalgia for the game and you remember back, wow, I was really exploring this world. I, I was in depth with this world. If you can just turn anything on and have a breeze through the game, why even play it? I think so many people just play the game to come through the backlog nowadays. Take a chill pill, sit down, relax. I love a good challenge in my games. I personally do not want to be held by the hand all the way to the end. And I don't want to get it offered either. That's why I really appreciate games like Jump King. No mercy. <laughs> but I'm sad every time I get the opportunity to change the difficulty down to storytelling. Or you can just breeze through the whole game. Why then play it? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Anyway, I'm just a crazy man. But thank you so much for watching the whole video. This was Stank from the P-Wing. Purple love to you all. Bye.